Peace, kings and queens, gods and goddesses. Welcome back to another video. I pray you all are well. Make sure you like up on this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload. Y'all know how YouTube be doing, your girl. I mean, damn, one view an hour? 17 views in 17 hours? What, what is that? Okay, let's, let's like the video, let's support the channel so these very critical, crucial, and specific messages can get to who they need to get to, okay? Without further ado, this will be general for the collective, so it may or may not resonate, but if you are wanting something more personal, you can always reach out to me and book a private session. All my information is in the description box below. You're welcome to donate to the channel if you would share um, or if you would care to support. Um, also, I do have my Amazon wish list that is linked below. So check out the channel. There's many ways to support the girl. All right. There's many ways to support your girl. All right. So let's go ahead and get into these messages. Oh, my goodness. Nah, nah. I have some downloads for y'all. I got to get the downloads, bro. I got to get the downloads. Give me a second. All right, so I got the downloads. Um, what was I going to say? It was something about, I can't remember. It may come back to me. But I also want to say thank you to those who do support the channel. Thank you to those who have booked private sessions with me. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. I'm still figuring out how I want to navigate the members only channel because I'm thinking about doing the individual zodiac signs again, but not doing the full reading and putting the, like a second portion of it in the members tab. I may need some assistance from the collective navigating if you were to join the members portion, what would you want from me? Okay, what would you want to see exclusively to you? And that is not free, um, but is of value and that's going to benefit you on your spiritual journey. All right. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, the first download that I did get is some of you may be feeling guilty at this time. And it's around doing the right thing. All right, such as saving money, being wise with your finances and things that are important to you, um, not helping those who aren't helping themselves. You could have this guilty conscience or mindset of, you know, someone may be asking for your help or maybe in need for something, but they aren't in no way, shape or form attempting to do it or get it done themselves. They are literally just looking for a handout and you may be feeling guilty about just saying no don't feel bad about that especially if you were yeah especially if you you've done the work you're doing what it takes to navigate through life and get things done everything wasn't you know handed to you you know what i'm saying some of you may have gotten some sort of assistance along the way but you have always been putting one foot in front of the other um to make sure you were making strides. So don't feel bad about that. I picked up on that energy. Um, also separating yourself from those who lack integrity and carry an energy of defeat instead of the energy of triumph. Okay, so some of you guys may have guilt around that. These could be people you grew up with, maybe you worked with, this could even be people in your family that you're making a conscious decision to move away from or separate yourself from or have um, a healthy boundary set for these individuals, okay? Um, I got here, you are not a bad person for wanting better for your life and doing what it takes to get it. Continue to take charge and authority over your life and your soul smiles when you do. 
so at the end of the day we are not here to people please we are here to fulfill a mission a goal a purpose um, on this soul's journey that we signed before coming here i feel like that's the bigger picture um and that's how you know when you come across your soul family when these said people understand that they don't second guess you they don't you know double cross you undermine you any of that they get it they understand why because they're on the same exact journey might not be the same timeline might not be on the same page not even in the same book but the journey is the same and when I what I mean by it being the same is that it's understood. You understand your journey and your your path to wish fulfillment and happiness and love. Okay? So those were the downloads. Let's get into the messages. Um, you guys can also donate to the channel by hitting the super thanks as well. Um, that would be much appreciated again if you're feeling um generous and you want to support if you care okay so holy divine spirit universe source what are the messages today for the collective here what do they need to know at this time okay ace of cups Sounds about right. Yeah, Page of Wands, Four of Cups. I feel like there's a draining energy around always having to, to be the one to uplift somebody. Okay, I feel like you don't have a problem doing that. But it's when someone is in like this stubborn energy who don't want to listen, don't want to hear anything you have to say. But the main one always asking questions. Yeah, like I see that your cup is always full or you make it a point to pour into yourself. Make sure whatever it is that you're giving out, it's coming from the overflow. So for a lot of you guys, I see you have that to give. You definitely do. However, now it's time to discern who are you giving this to, okay? Is the door open for whomever you want to give to, to receive? Are they ready to receive? Not looking like this, not with their arms crossed. Look how big that cup of love is. And they have their arms crossed, okay? So just be in mind for this could have to do with the Cancerian here um, or a fire sign. It's, it's giving the energy of knowing where to displace your energy, knowing who to give to. And that's also that energy of wanting to be you know, someone's savior or getting someone to see their potential. Okay, you can see someone's potential as much as you want, but if they don't see it, there's nothing that can be done. They have to see it for themselves here. Yeah, you got the seven of pentacles. So some of you guys are willing to invest in somebody. Okay, or you want to invest in someone. All right. You see the potential this individual has or what they display or what they may have shown in the past, but they may be in some sort of some sort of stalemate. I feel like this is um this is they're supposed to be in this energy, whoever this is, because they got themselves there and God wants them to get themselves out. Yeah, I cannot make this up with judgment. Okay, this person, whoever this is, I don't know if it's you. But Source is wanting them or you to rise from the ashes on your own like the phoenix. No one can get this person out of this jam this time. Yeah, the four of swords. Dev car here. All right, someone is being challenged to go through a transformation right now. There's a lot of things someone or you have to put to rest 
And I think someone may be refusing this with the Four of Cups. Someone yeah, someone's rejecting change, okay? We have Scorpio out here as well. We have Pluto energy. Someone could have Cancer, uh, Pluto and Cancer here, or Libra. Pluto and Libra are Cancer here, or maybe even Taurus. But someone's comfortable laying on their back, or someone's comfortable right where they are. This is like someone feeling sorry for themselves. What's the four of cups here? I feel like this is somebody wanna you want to help. This could even be a child. This could even be a child. Yeah, king of pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Or a grown ass man who is acting childish. Okay, cancer. Uh, I said cancer, but this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. This person may have came to you for uh, some sort of loan and you told them no. And now they're pouty about it. Okay, I'm picking up. You a grown ass man, dog. Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Page of Pentacles. Someone's down on their luck. Okay, it's something about this is supposed to be happening. I don't know who this is. It's like, <sighs> the person that I'm picking up on, they've gotten over getting over on people for the last time. And this person and the jam that they're in, they're used to um being rescued or they're used to being able to finagle them ways out of their way out of a situation and they're not able to do that anymore or you may have been some sort of cash cow or atm to somebody but with the judgment king of pentacles in reverse and the four of cups i feel like this person is being tested by the most high okay they're being required to answer a calling and they're rejecting it. And this rejection is going to sting really bad. And you're being guided not, and I'm not saying this in a, a mean way or anything like that, but you're being guided not to help this person. This person literally has to fit for themselves. Okay, it's a test. What's the king of pentacles in reverse, please? Mm -hmm. This is painful. Look at this person. They don't like being in this position. Or they don't like being rejected or told no. And this person is very materialistic and they live above their means. And they, this is somebody who may be getting ready to lose it, lose it all, okay? As far as materialistic things going, but that is because the Most High is stripping this person of all the materialistic things so they can see themselves in a more spiritual light, so they can see the spiritual side of themselves. This person navigates solely as a human being when this person is also a spiritual being having a human experience. This is somebody who needs to tap into their spiritual side, just period. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, Page of Swords, King of Swords. They need to grow up. They need to go from a boy to a grown ass fucking man. Or if this is a woman, the same thing goes for the woman. Okay? This person has used and abused people for the last time. I feel like they, they burned a lot of bridges, whoever this is. What's the Four of Swords? Yeah, the world in the uh, Eight of Swords. The world in the Eight of Swords here. This is somebody who also, they don't like being by themselves or they don't like being in their own energy. They don't like to face reality. They want to be blinded to 
the reality of things and they're being forced to see the reality of things okay their fantasy has ended period some sort of fantasy or bullshit as lifestyle this person has been leading um it's over three of pentacles what is the world card please oh, that's too it's like this person could have had a successful outcome but ten of swords they're choosing to lay on their back like they always do. I keep hearing lay on their back. Queen of Cups and the moon. This person could have been spoiled by their mother. Okay, this could have a lot to do. Yes, this could have a lot to do with the way they were raised. Okay, this person may have been spoiled, never had to lift a finger, anything they ever wanted. Okay, their mother gave it to them or father. Um, but with the queen of cups and the moon, that's definitely giving motherly vibes. Okay, that's a mother. Okay, um, or could represent a mother figure. Maybe the mother has cut this person off. Or if you're a mother, maybe you're cutting your grown child off or something like that. This person is having a hard time here. I also, I'm also picking up on a lot of false starts. Like, I don't know if it's you or again. This might not even be you. This might be someone around you, this situation or this scenario. Um, it's like you would invest in somebody and they would start something and not finish it. Ace of Swords. I cannot make this up. What is the, uh, what is the Four of Cups? What's going on here? What is the Four of Cups? The Lovers... And the five of cups gemini scorpio energy so again someone would feel defeated they would they would be excited about a choice that they're going to make and then something goes left or something goes awry okay maybe this person lets relationships get in the way of um their personal life goals or making strides in life or something like that what is the Five of Cups? What is the Five of Cups here? All right, let's see what this Five of Cups is here. Five of Cups. Okay. The Ace of Wands here. And the Nine of Pentacles. Give me one more. Five of Swords, Page of Swords. So I just heard hurt people hurt people. So this person would be getting duped. This person gets duped so they go and dupe other people. Or they get played or they get scammed or they get defeated by someone else. And then they go scam and defeat other people or something like that. I feel like this is a very passionate person, but it's something about the company they're keeping. It's about the company they're keeping. Like, okay, so I'm getting, this is somebody who comes from a really great background. Um, they have really great support or something like that, but they choose to be around people who just wanna use them, use them up. That's why they're in the reverse. Now they want to come and use you and you like, hell no. Or you need to be like, hell no. Yeah, two of wands and the um, queen of swords. This is like this person wanting to be the, the, be the main thing or the main attraction around people who are struggling or straggling. Not understanding that they're just using them. Two of Swords in the Tower. I'm 
I'm just gonna clarify this judgment here. What's the judgment? Two of Wands in the reverse. Aries. Page of Cups. Let me see. And the Temperance. Sagittarius. So. This person may look at you as like a savior. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups again with the hairy font. They feel like you're gonna make things all better or you're gonna balance out the situation or you're gonna forgive them or something like that. I just, I feel, I feel, um, let me see. It's like this person is never going to learn their lesson until they're flat on their ass. We've all been there. We've all been there. But that's truly the only way to learn, the best way to learn. Life is the best teacher, experiences. Otherwise, you'll never appreciate what it is that you obtain. If you just hand something to someone, they're not going to appreciate it because it came easy. This person has to do the work. Starting with them, starting with themselves, starting with their environment. And I feel like, I mean, I don't know if this is you or this is someone you're dealing with, but I definitely do see you in the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands energy. I feel like you're very happy, you're content, you're fulfilled, you're in a blissful state, you're very fruitful, uh, fertile, full of energy, ideas, um... I'm just getting a very hydrated energy with you, okay? It's like when somebody looks at you, they feel like they want to suck you dry or they want to clench on to you or you may give like a motherly vibe or a very nurturing vibe or a vibe of I will take care of you. So whoever I'm connecting with, you may be very empathic or compassionate and just a very solid individual, but at the same time, you definitely have to protect yourself because there are, you know, uh, blood suckers and people who want to suck your energy dry because they feel like you can. And it's like, yo, I worked hard to get here. You're not about to just come in, suck my blood, Bubba. Okay, let me get the Ace of Cups, please. So this does tie into the download, look, the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands. Looks like some sort of projection as well. This, you know, you know what I'm getting from this too? People who want to fight you or be in conflict with you simply because you're, you're pretty or you're handsome or simply because you move with grace, integrity, and love. Um, and you're likable, okay? It's easy to like you, it's easy to love you. It's, it's like you give a very welcoming energy and yeah, and it's just giving they big mad. So let them be mad. This could also be people who you actually help and they could be mad because you're no longer helping them anymore. You're no longer bending over backwards. You're no over. You're no longer even giving from your overflow. No, because you're noticing that anytime something goes down or anytime something goes awry or they get themselves in some bullshit, they come to you. When you be just minding your business, chilling, manifesting, <laughs> you be chilling, manifesting, living your life, being fruitful loving up on yourself and those around you um this is definitely giving no more being available for this person or anyone of that matter who's coming with this and this energy 
just no longer okay I'm here no longer be available for this person period no more So I'm hearing you might need to just ignore them. You can be straight up honest and blunt with them or you can make up something. You know what I'm you know what I'm hearing? And I'm literally seeing someone coming to your door and they're they're knocking. They're knocking. You ain't answering. They calling. It's very much giving pick up, look, put it down. Let's get some angel numbers so we can go. 23, 23, endless cycles, charisma, communication, society, movement, journey, repetitive, circumstances, and pattern. Listen at this. 23, 23. For some of you guys, you may have left this person in the past or they're resurfacing from the past or from last year. Okay, this is also the number 55. Five. So 55 is very significant. The year 55, the age 55, May 5th, a Taurus, all right, or a, a Libra, Venus energy. But listen, check your Venus placement too, because that could tell you a lot, especially as it pertains to romantic love or just how you, you exude and show love. It says there's some truth you are resisting to accept over and over again until you are tired and restrained beyond depression. It takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change and the world around you follows. Okay, Ashe, I feel like that's what you've been doing, but there's specific people or there's someone specific who is refusing to change. It's giving pacifier vibes. You, you, you've taken the pacifier out and now they whine and they want it back. No, it's time to let the passy go. You're the pacifier. You got 101 starting over. Okay. It says intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development. All right. So it's time to, you know, leave this person be and if you have to start over start over um i really feel like whoever this is they don't want to start over yeah they want to be in some sort of endless cycle and it's time to end it and you have to be the one to end it because they're not going to they're they're comfortable okay it says happiness linked to self-expression growth and experience Learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible, and it's around you. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails in fun. Start fresh. I feel like this is you. Like You understand the balance and the duality of failures and prosperity and triumphs and trials. And that's how you... That's how you made it this far, okay? And you're walking away from people who are afraid of taking the journey head on. All right, we got two. We got 0404, zero, four, zero, four. slow down. It did come in the reverse. And then you have 2424, 24, good times, all right? It says leisure, rest, holding pleasure, love, affection, kindness, and happiness, all right? You are worthy of affection, leisure, and pleasure. If you tell your family and friends how you feel, you'll find that you are all on the same page and can work together effectively. Many people are rooting for you. If you spread love, it will find its way back to you multiplied. All right. And then 0404, it says pay close attention to the people in your life your surroundings and your physical health don't freak out it's just a warning to be careful and a way to avoid any further issues communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries listen i said what the fuck i said 
I share what I share too. Something about the age 40, 101. Is it somebody's grandma just turned 101? I don't know who. Looking, I mean, happy solar return. That is a blessing. That right there shows you the longevity in your life, okay? As long as you're taking care of yourself, keeping yourself up. Okay, whoever grandma or grandpa this is that made it to 101, I would stick close by them for the remainder of their time here. Anytime you can spend time with this person or this elder, do it. Listen, get more information. They got some information for you. They got some information for you. Last messages, please. Ask your angels. All right, so whatever you may be inquiring about, it's time to connect with your angels so that they can answer you. It's one thing to ask questions, but are you connected? Because you got to be open to receive the answers. All right, and then take action. Because they're going to be giving you messages and inclinations and clarity around when and probably even how to take action. Look, some of y'all not connected with your angels and your ancestors. It says no. But there's ways you can do that. And no need to worry. It says look for signs, okay? So that's another way. If you feel that you're not connected with your angels and your ancestors, for some of you guys, don't worry. Look for signs, okay? Because they communicate with you through different things, through birds, through trees, through babies, through animals, through songs, through numbers, through this, through that, do boom, boom, boom. I mean, come on now. Listen, you on this channel, you already know what is good. You know what's good, all right? So I'm gonna leave it there, my babies. I pray it helps. Like the video, donate to the channel, Book your personal session if you are wanting something more tailored and specific to you. Remember, these are free general messages. All right? Get tapped in. I love y'all. Peace.